Hi, this is Kala Shriram from Chennai. Nice Hi, to meet you. Uh, I would like to know how to uh, improve myself to be a good paid healer. Okay, very nice question. I think many people on this group have this question. <laughs> okay, let me answer for you, Kala. Uh, so, Kala, I just want to ask you something. Have you already started doing paid work or you're yes. still no, no, started? No, just started. Just started. Okay, so for you, I see is uh, you have to start treating your healing venture as a business itself. Okay. Don't see it as a freelancing or as a side thing that you do when you get time. Okay. Because uh, the more you generate the energy of, I'm serious about this, that is the answer the universe hears. Okay. And uh, second thing that I hear is that initial phases of starting any business whether it's healing or anything, are usually uh, where you are kind of investing mm. in terms of getting your audience, investing in terms of money, and also investing in learning. So don't treat uh, any uh, thing that you do for the initial six months or one year. Don't look at everything from the aspect of profitability. Okay. So suppose you invest 50,000 in a course, don't look for doubling that 50,000 in one month because when that doesn't happen you will lose your enthusiasm for your work yes. see everything that you invest everything that you learn as an investment because as time goes and the right time comes you will get in um, in unimaginable ways and amounts okay because i see you getting very successful and another advice for you is um, somewhere i feel you have the fear of being judged for your profession that what will people say does this resonate with you uh, not much but at times when when i get the feedback uh, i do uh, so you have to kind of uh, get yourself free from any kind of fear of judgments okay. from your clients or from the people around you that what are you doing okay. uh, what is this work because not everyone can understand everything so you have to kind of keep that in your mind when you're doing your work. So just, uh, you have to be very focused on your goals and look at shining your light, okay. not reducing your light. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Kala. Thanks, Sunena. You're welcome. I, I could see that um, when, as Kala was listening to you and she was reflecting she could remember <laughs> that yes that's true yes that's true <laughs> you could see I, Kala I could see it on your express on your face <laughs> thank you so much because then you know, I can take it into my mind and register it instead of noting it down it will be registered in my mind <laughs> <laughs> thank you thank you so much Kala